just finished my countertop. Yeah. I got a little secret about this countertop. You know, when you got one of these trailers like this with, a, with the uh, V-nose trailers, I notice in a lot of videos, everybody has a different uh, front here. And I tried to do a template and I just couldn't get the cardboard or anything to work with me. So I ended up uh, doing my template by just taking measurements and wrote it down on a little piece of paper. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There we go. I drew myself a little a schematic here of my table, what I, the dimensions I wanted, and how many inches on everything. 69 inches across. And I'll be darned if that didn't work. It, everything cut just nice and... I could have went back another half inch here and I think that would have been fine. And it would have been almost perfect. So I may want to put in something here to, just to fill in this gap, but you know, it's a camping trailer. And this is another secret I want to tell you about. This is melamine. Yes, melamine is a particle wood that has a plastic water resistant coating on top, a white plastic laminate. It's kind of a laminate, but it's not the same as the countertops, the laminated countertops. It's a very thinner uh, laminate, but it is water resistant. And I'm gonna try it for a while and see how it works. I've been looking up different things and some people say it should be fine if you're just using it once in a while like in a cargo trailer like this or maybe in a washroom you should be fine as long as you don't get the particle wood wet that's in between the plastic layers so i'm going to put the sink in here it's going to be a bar a bar size i think 15 inch bar size sink with a six and a half inch depth and then a, a single spigot right here cold water and then in the bottom down here is where i'm going to put my water tanks and I've got everything ready to hook up. I'm just going to matter of getting my sink in. I'm waiting for my sink to come in. I ordered it on Amazon. It was like $70. So I'm waiting for the sink to come in and all the other hardware I've got. So that's my countertop. I even left a little gap here so I could run power cords up here. And I'm going to mount uh, an electrical outlet box up here with plugs and USB ports and everything so I can plug in my coffee pot if I want to or a phone or a GoPro and then this is going to be connected down below to the Blue Eddy and it'll just stay up here all the time and then whenever when we go camping I'll just put the Blue Eddy down below plug in all the extension cords and we're good one little bit at a time yeah Whew. all right back to work back to work all right, I'm going to be uh, installing my sink today in my counter for my countertop. And this is a 15 by 15 bar sink that I got on Amazon with one hole for this uh, faucet back here. No other holes, but that's okay. This is what I wanted. I think these run, you can get just a sink, but you can get the sink with the uh, all the parts and everything included you can get the entire sink for like 70 i think it's around 79 dollars that includes everything you need the attachment underneath it you can hook your uh your your drain and your sink to your uh, gray water tank so i have that that i'll hook up in a minute but i'm going to get ready to cut the hole for this sink put it in the counter i did my measurements today i'm going to be using my jigsaw but i'm going to be using a scroll saw blade so that i can cut around here in the corners and do like a little cut here in the corners now here's the thing about putting one of these in let me flip this over so you can see there's little clips that go in here I'll zoom in here so you can see there's little clips that go in these rails and these channels are little clips that go in and you have to hook these clips underneath the uh, counter so when you cut you have to make sure that you don't go too deep, you don't make your cut too big, or don't go don't go too big or too small. <clears throat> so I kind of took a couple of measurements to give me an idea of where to cut. When I run the blade, I'm gonna have to go somewhere between these two lines to give me a good space for this to go in. I'd rather go a little bit under than a little bit over. If I go over too far, then it this is gonna show I don't know if that makes sense but this lip 
you have to make sure you have enough countertop for the lip to go over. So you can see kind of how wide that is. That's probably about, oh, a little over a, an eighth of an inch wide. So you have to have at least two eighths of an inch, a quarter of an inch at least for this to go over. And then around the edge, I'm gonna put a little bead of putty or a silicone and then drop this down and let it sit in there and seal. So hopefully if all goes right, this will be able to go in. But I, I think that's important for people to know when you do get these sinks, you have to be exact on your cut. You don't want to go over. So it's 15, exactly 15 inches wide. From one rail on this side to the other rail on the other side is 14 and a half inches. Okay, that means you have about a quarter of an inch to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole so that I can run the jigsaw blade down in there. And I think I'm going to go right in the corner here. I want to make sure I have a big enough hole for my blade to go down into. So I may use a bigger bit here. I probably could use this just to start with, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I think that will work. Oh, scrolls. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I actually have to remember I want to stay to the inside of this line and not too much farther. Corners aren't going to be such a problem in the corners. It's just right along the edge here. The reason I'm using a scroll cut blade is so that I can do curves. These are a little bit easier to do curves with than a regular a jigsaw blade. All right, here we go. Put my battery in. Truth will arrive when I put the sink in there. Right All right, here comes the moment of truth, everybody. Hey, not too bad. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Alright. Now all I have to do. I'm going to put some silicone around the outer edge and I think everything's smoothed up enough put my silicone around the outer edge a little bit on the top here just a bead about a quarter inch all the way around and then drop this down in and let that sit there and glue the silicone will be like the glue that holds this down it also gives it a little bit of water uh, water sealing around the edge so it sinks ready to go in then i'll put all my hardware in all right i just put a little bead of silicone around the inside of the drain there then i'm going to drop the strainer down through it has a little white gasket but this so i might be able to get by with it you know without putting the silicone but hey to be just for good measure i'm going to go ahead and put that silicone in there and then drop it in like that 
Now, a little of the silicone might come through, but that's okay. I can always clean that up later. There. Put the uh, spigot on. And I think I'm going to add just a little bit of silicone around the outside of this, right in here. Just something like that. There. Just to make sure that this, when this faucet goes down there. Now, when you get your faucet, it comes in a, all this comes in a box and everything you need's in here. There's a little screw here that you gotta tighten. On. This is gonna go up. So this is gonna come down through the top like that. And then this little gasket goes underneath first. And you notice there's a little bit of silicone coming up there, but that, that's okay. You can always wipe that away later on. That will keep water from coming down through there. And we don't want that. So I'm just screwing that big nut on there. And for right now, I'm just gonna hand tighten the nut. But now I'm gonna go around the outside edge of this. Let go. inside that line right there. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but I'm putting a bead right around the inside of this line. Put some weight in there, but basically it's done. This will dry. Clean that up with a towel. There you go. Actually, you know what? There. That looks better. Alright, so I want to go in and tighten the nut up underneath and just put some weight in there so that it sets it down on top of that. And we're done. Got my sink with this little cover for it. That was kind of nice. I made that out of the left, leftover wood. And down below there, I'll show you. Tammy made the curtains. We have a little curtain rod here and it covers everything up. Let me show you the front end here. Now on the front end of that, we got the fresh water tank, gray water tank. The sink runs down into the gray water. Then I got the foot pump here to pump water up to the sink. Let me show you, I'll get my foot on that. And voila. There, I don't have much water in there because I've just been using it to test. But I've been working really hard to make sure that didn't leak and that took some doing, getting everything tightened up real good. And then over there, we're gonna have our Portageon garbage can right there that we use for garbage.